styles. Today I have Judy with me. Uh, we are going to do her fun, cute, stylish haircut. It's it's just um, spiky, it's cute around her ears. Um, we actually don't cut her ears out, we leave that over her ears a little bit, but her back is tight and her top is super fun and just spiky and messy. And the thing I love about Judy, she styles it so cute. So I seen um, pictures um, the other day, she and her family had gone over to the temple and literally her hair is just so cute and she pieces it out all darling. And so anyway, good job, Judy. <laughs> you know how to style your hair. Like it easy. <laughs> yeah, easy's good, right? <laughs> That's sweet of you. But yeah, so she definitely styles her hair, darling. But um, yeah, Judy and I have been good friends for a long time now. I love it. She can start getting her hair done. And remember that first time I saw you after I come back here? Yes, we was up at the dance review, right? Yeah. Yes. Are uh, you taking new clients? Yes. She's like, um, I hear you cut hair. Are you taking new clients? Because I cut her sisters. So anyway, and I'm like, oh, heck yes. So she called me. We set her up for a haircut. And ever since... Yeah, I've followed her. We, yes, she, yeah, she's followed me through all these darn houses we keep building. Um, speaking of, I was just telling them um, the house we just moved in, we're just, we're selling that one tomorrow. Or not, we're putting it up for sale tomorrow. But anyway, long story short, like, yeah, that's what happens when you marry a builder. I just tell everybody, because they're like, why would you move again? I'm like, because uh, that's what my husband does for his work. So we just... We just keep doing it, so. But I love it. I do not mind it at all. I am just a little bit more nervous this time just because I'm used to being able to carry whoop, heavy boxes and get things done, which I can still do some things, but yeah, with Don't my back. Tempted. Yeah, exactly. Don't be tempted. So yeah, it definitely is gonna be different, but it's okay. We will make it work. It will be great. So it's kind of funny. So the last house plan we did, I did that one again, but then I just perfected everything that I wanted, like, you know, a little bit this, a little bit of that. So I switched it all. So everything in this house is like just great. Like I wouldn't change anything. But now this next house, we're doing a totally new plan. So we'll see. We will see how it goes. So you can just see, you guys, I'm coming down to the neckline. Um, and from her ear, ear down, we like to go tighter. So you can see, um, like here, I'm bringing it out a little bit more, but here by her nape area, I keep it, uh, my fingers pretty tight to her neck. It just makes it so there's not the hair there when, you know, here in a couple weeks when it starts growing out. Um, Judy really stays up on her style. She <laughs> comes every three weeks to get it trimmed. And then three weeks after that, we color it. And mm -hmm. then three weeks after that, we trim it. So yeah, it's perfect. So every six weeks for color and trim every three weeks. So yeah, she just has her hair perfect at all times. Which is fun because then I get to see her every few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Other than she was a sweetheart, like during my surgery and stuff she just by the time she come back <laughs> her hair was so long it was. wasn't it oh man she's like well you needed to rest and you oh she's so cute okay so you can see i'm just moving her ear i'm just taking um that hair behind her ear off and down that side and then when we come to do the sides, I'll show you how to connect that. Okay, then on the top, over here, you can see the guide point right here, obviously. So we're coming around. I like to just pull um, it at a 90 degree angle all through this top area um, and through the crown area. And then, like I say, just above the ear is when I start to, you know, angle my fingers in and still, you know, leave a tiny bit of length up through here. But when you get to that bottom, you can really feel my fingers against 
the nape of her neck to keep it tight. I'm okay. glad we don't charge for therapy. <laughs> I hope you guys heard that. That is seriously the cutest. She says, I hope you don't charge for therapy. I love it. I always tease her too. Half the time I'm like, um, no therapy. Like it, what's that? I get so relaxed. So relaxed. That's so cute. I love it. Some people don't like their hair messed with, but I do. Right? Oh, so do I. Even like the, um, like my oldest daughter, she loves to be tickled or, you know, her neck or back or whatever and her hair played with. And then my youngest daughter is like, uh-uh, yeah. don't touch my hair, don't touch my neck, don't oh. tickle me, don't. <laughs> so I'm like, what? Where did you come from? I love to be tickled and oh. my hair played with. <laughs> Too funny. But yeah, I always tell my clients like, they talk about therapy and this and that. And I'm like, oh man. No, most of the time it's me. I, I, especially you guys, like coming back, like not being able to do hair, which I come back real, real soon. I was supposed to take six weeks off. I took two and a half, but I, but it's because I literally couldn't mentally like function without my people. And it's, it's like, it's not even work. It's like, these are my people. Like they're my best friends and anyway I just miss them it just helps me to be out in my salon so and after doing it for 26 years yeah. you know doing something for 26 years you're is you know you're so sweet yeah that I love to hear that Judy thank you <laughs> but yeah doing it that long you know anything sometimes you know you think wow that's are you getting tired of that that's 26 years of it nope I love my job. Love it, love it. And yeah, my back was the only thing that's really, you know, that's taken me out of work. And ooh, I did not <laughs> like that. I did not do well. Even my family's like, yeah, mom, you, you do great at work. You can just go out in that salon and <laughs> get your work in. <laughs> People work out at the gym. Nope, I just work out here in my salon, get my ladies all dolled up. It's the best. I should work out in the gym, but <laughs> one day. Okay, so you can see this right here. That's the guide point, okay? So we're just bringing these sides up to this guide point. And then on our sides, I'm just gonna come in through, open and shut the shears. You can see I'm just taking little sections, little cuts through here. That just takes the little hairs, just so it's not so bulky right there. Okay, and then over here, over the ear, I'm gonna hold that out, take that bulk away. And you can see that's that top layer. So I'm just bringing the sides up to the top layer. Okay, up this way. Okay. All right, now, same thing. There's that guide point. See, you can see that. You come bring some of that or take some of that off the side. Same thing here, open and shut. Take little pieces up in. So you can see there's some shorter, longer, short, long. It's nice to have the variation there. And then up through the bang area, I come through on an angle, up in, leave some longer, come up, do some short, Long, short. And then um, half the time, if I feel like they're not pieced out enough or they're too long or something after I dry your hair, then I'll come back through and, you know, just take a little bit off if I need to. So it's just feeling a little bit long there. So I'm just taking a little bit more just through that front area.
yeah, the fun thing about having my clients for so long, like, it's just fun. They know my kids. They've been, you know, raising them since they've been coming. Um, but I love it because I get to know their families and I get to know, like, it's just cool how close you get as clients and it's not even clients. They're like your friends and family, but it's fun. Okay, so um, Judy doesn't love texture. Um, she used to, but she feels like she doesn't have as much hair. So once in a while, I will take the, the texturizing shears to her when she really needs it. Um, but I just kind of do this and make sure that it can kind of still stand up. So when it's standing like this on its own, then I leave it. If not, um, I do take a little bit just through the top to give it that extra um, body that it needs to stand up, um, but she's good today. So we're gonna leave it. We're putting some mousse in. Okay, then a little bit of the volume and lift spray. And then we're going to dry the back down. Back and forth with the fingers. you guys I love this styling paste um, I just take a fingertip I rub it in my hands I have a lady um, that likes to spray her fingers first and then bring the hairspray through and then she'll bring a little bit of paste throughout um, so you can try it that way also Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just backcomb this a little bit and then of course you can see I always like to spray. So the backcombing in down and out kind of like a C shape you hold tight on the top of the hair in down and out in down and out. So you leave it at the base and not out in the, the outer. 
then I'm just going to, if you don't have one of these pin combs, I would recommend that you do um, a fine tooth comb to back comb. And then the other side of that comb, you know, where it's the wider teeth, then that's what I would like kind of pick it out and put it into a spot with. Okay, now we're gonna turn her to the mirror just to see what we've done. Okay. Hey, hi, you are so darn sweet. You always make it look so you are easy. You're, well, you're sweet because, and, well, and honestly, let's be real, I guess it is easier behind, you me. know what I mean, that you can pull it, but you, you was rocking those pictures. I seen your hair, Judy. You know how to do your hair. You was so dang cute. You had it pieced out all cute. So this is something that I love with Judy's haircut is I love that I do it different lengths in the front. Um, it just adds character to it. It adds um, sassiness, movement, um, whatever you want to call it, just texture instead of just a cross that's not, I mean, some people love that and that is great, but on Judy, I just like to have movement. I like to give her some sass. She's yeah, sassy. I just at my age, I, I need <laughs> oh, it. You are the best. Okay, well, thank you, Judy, for letting us show your cute haircut. Um, you guys, I hope you enjoyed Judy's haircut. Um, I appreciate all of you. Um, it's so fun to get to know you guys and chat with you. So thank you so much for everything. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will chat later. Thanks, guys. See ya.